Have you ever wondered what it took to build the massive steel and concrete arteries that pump life through New York City every single day? Today, we're digging deep literally into the epic story of the NYC subway system. Back in 1904, when the very first subway line roared to life, it was a revolution. Imagine a city lit by gas lamps, bustling with horse-drawn carriages, suddenly gaining the ability to move millions of people underground. It wasn't just a new way to travel. It was the birth of modern New York. But building it? That was a whole different story. Engineers and workers faced a monumental challenge. They had to carve out tunnels beneath some of the most crowded streets in the world, dodging a tangled web of water pipes, gas lines, and electrical wires. The method they used, called cut and cover, was as brutal as it sounds. They would dig up entire avenues, build the subway tunnel, and then pave everything back over. The noise, the disruption, the sheer audacity of it all was incredible. It was a Herculean effort that transformed disconnected boroughs into a single, unified metropolis. For over a century, this underground city has been the backbone of New York, connecting people from all walks of life, from the Bronx to Brooklyn. It's a 24-7 system that never sleeps, just like the city it serves. Think about it. The subway is what allows millions of New Yorkers to get to work, see family, and explore everything this amazing place has to offer. It's more than just transportation. It's a shared public space, a cultural melting pot on wheels. But the story doesn't end in the past. Today, the subway is undergoing its own renaissance. We're seeing modern upgrades, like new signaling systems that will allow more trains to run faster and more reliably. Expansions like the 2nd Avenue subway are reaching new neighborhoods and easing congestion. While the system faces its share of challenges, the commitment to innovate and improve is stronger than ever. Ensuring this underground marvel will continue to power New York City for another hundred years and beyond.